on thank everybody for watching crypto revolution we talk about everything crypto almost daily jump in right into the market today in crypto bitcoin moon mission period i think in two days you saw 25 percent gains out of bitcoin we had some news come out last night after i made the video i want to share with you what happened here what caused this crazy bitcoin pump to the upside you've got banks falling apart they're over leveraged just as much as you know everybody want to point a finger at ftx and hey here's a black eye for crypto and and the banks are falling apart too right here we are i'll cover a lot of interesting ideas in this video based on that idea this is the bitcoin one hour chart and you see moon mission right after this you got a bullish retest bears are trapped right so you got this huge bear trap and then pump to the upside right all your shorts got completely liquidated, completely wrecked right here, right? So now we'll talk about it in higher time frames. Bitcoin still has to face this $25,200 level, right? So on the four hour chart, perfect example. You got the price action broke back into the pattern, negated the downside idea. So this bear trap, bears are trapped right now. Bears are getting punished. And right now, 24,500-ish is acting as resistance. The big test is the bulls need to put in a higher high. I mean, you could still come back down here, get a bullish retest of resistance, which is now support. Now this resistance is support, right? It used to be the ceiling, now it's the floor. So you could, you could easily still come pull back to 23,600 and then continue to work higher but the bulls have to break and hold 25,200 on the four hour chart. If we go to the daily, we talked about the 200 SMA. This is a bullish retest of the 200 SMA. And it's been epic, like these green candles. New Finance came out and said, the BUSD that we have in the insurance fund for Paxos got shut down by the United States and said, hey, SEC said, Paxos, you can't print any more BUSD. So CZ, the CEO of Binance says, hey, we're going to take our insurance fund and we're going to buy a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and BNB. An epic two days of upside. This is a Bitcoin weekly chart. So you see this support held back here after it was retested. The 21 simple was retested. Price action. You had a strong weekly close because you closed back above 21,800. And so you negated this double top idea. Right. And so now it looks like Bitcoin's potentially flagging right here in this area on the weekly. But the bulls still have to break above 25,200 to put in an extensive move to the upside. I've got some amazing shout outs to give in my trading group. This person, FTM, hit FTM. We posted FTM in, in group up 303%. Banging. This person on KuCoin over the last 30 days up $104,000. Under $104,000 life-changing money on KuCoin. This person FTM, hit FTM for 112%. He said, you know, my times were kind of tough for me financially, and I started hitting these big gainers thanks to you guys. Bitcoin, long, 279% gains. Listen, when we, and I'll even show you in the group. Yeah, if you look in group, March the 12th, Bitcoin USD, one hour before it broke out. Like these ascending triangles, ascending triangles forming. These are supposed to break out higher. These are bullish. And after that, we saw 25% gains out of Bitcoin, right? You got to be in the right coins. You got to be out of the wrong coins. I can help you. We're nailing banger after banger after banger. I've got the strongest team out there. That's all there is to it. And they work around the clock, answering questions full time, posting the best setups. Right now, for one week, we're lowering the prices, rock bottom fees to join the group. $200 off, lowest price ever, plus 60% off the... Go over to my website, cryptorev.net. Join. Listen, if you have any questions, email me, cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. The Binance tweet I was talking about, given the changes in stable coins and banks, where potentially the weakest link of the stable coins is the banks. Binance is going to convert the remaining $1 billion worth of industry recovery initiative funds from BUSD to native crypto.
including Bitcoin, BNB, and Ethereum. Some fund movements will occur on chain today. This is just for transparency. So you're going to see Bitcoin bought up by Binance, BNB, Ethereum, etc. Bought up by Binance. The on-chain transactions are going to be seen, and this was posted found this yesterday. And obviously, Bitcoin took off. Bitcoin 15-minute chart. Look at this. This is crazy. This is crazy price action. Like I haven't seen this so so crazy in in years. Like it's been crazy, right? You got so much going on on a global macroeconomic scale in in crypto it's like crypto versus the united states government in a way and I'll, I'll dive deeper into that in just a second the fed has got a closed door meeting taking place actually right now and they're talking about the banks and what they're going to do are they going to raise the rates are they going to hike the rates can they hike the rates and so the market tech stocks up about one percent as far as the nasdaq goes so not a bunch of upside but you didn't see it selling off you see the bank stocks you've got this is First Republic Bank, right? This thing is not an S coin. Like this thing is down 70 or 80%, just straight drop. Like these banks are falling apart. HSBC bought the UK arm of Collapse Silicon Valley Bank for one pound. Basically the acquisition makes excellent, excellent strategic sense for our business in the UK. But the stock market is killing bank stocks. They're all selling off because that's who's losing. Like the with Silicon Valley Bank, they said, hey, people that had money in there, we're going we're gonna to take care of them. We'll make sure that they get their money back. But if you own stock, if you're a shareholder, you're going to lose a ton of money. And Yellen came out, here's a $25 billion exit for the banks. If you're holding the stocks and the bank fails, you lose. If you got money in the bank, you're going to get your money back. And so stock market doesn't want anything to do with holding these stocks, right? And so now there's questions, well, if the banking systems are falling apart, then potentially will you see the Fed rate hike pause to keep the banks from failing? I talked yesterday about a $620 billion hole in the banking system. And the United States said, here's 25 billion. Obviously not enough to cover what's wrong with the banking system. Now, Goldman Sachs came out and they said that the Fed won't raise the rates because banks are in so much trouble. So they've even changed their stance on what the Fed rate hike would be later on this month. Remember, tomorrow you got CPI, you got inflation numbers coming out. Like this is uncharted territory. Like we haven't seen things like this in years and years. Me, this is completely new territory for banks falling apart. What is the Fed going to do? So get this, the leaked news of the day is that U.S. Signature Bank board member and former Congressman Barney Frank said, regulators want to send a very strong anti-crypto message in shutting down Signature Bank. Remember, Signature Bank was the bank that was real, had all the ties with crypto. Again, this former Congressman Barney Frank is saying, hey, we, we're sending an anti-crypto message by not saving the Signature Bank. You know, and so, hey, it's banks, United States government, versus crypto, here we go. Bitcoin has broken the correlation with the stock market, right? You got this news comes out, Binance, CZ, biggest exchange there is, they, they're taking a billion dollars worth of BUSD that they printed, they just, hey, we're just gonna print some money. And that's, and that's what they did with these stable coins, right? They're supposed to back it up, but who knows if they really do it? Nobody, nobody really knows, like you get, you got banks getting audited and just recently, some of these banks that are failing got audited and checked out just fine. And the same thing's happening in crypto. Same thing. But anyway, so Binance comes out. EUSD used to buy a billion dollars in Bitcoin, BNB, and Ethereum. And clearly the market pumped based on this idea. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment in the comment box. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.